Before we start Market Watch today, Tier Zero is having a huge blowout sale. If you use code What's Good Five, you're going to get the chance to save some of the crazy things that they actually have up here. They have a ten thousand dragon for six hundred ninety-five dollars. You know how crazy that is. Plus, you'll save even more with the discount code. And something else that caught my personal eye was they have the Ori Calculus UDS mats available as well. I recommend giving this a quick look through here because this is actually insane. Use What's Good Five and save on your purchase. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, that subscribe button, so you guys don't miss out more on this content. And Sunday at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing a Tournament of Madness. I'll leave a link down below to our Discord server so that you guys can get signed up for it. We're going to have crazy prizes for this. I think it would be a good opportunity for you just to kind of have some fun. So, Rarity Collection is now up on Tier 0. If you use what's good five on your purchase you will get the chance to save on your purchase and they have quite a lot of interesting little things on here i know a few people are like well i prefer to shop tier zero versus gamer's choice and things like that and that's absolutely fine so i'll leave a link down below that way you guys can kind of come on over here take a look at some of these price points and decide if you know something back here works for you um, definitely a lot of things have kind of already moved but um, that's definitely within the realm of expectations I know a lot of people will want some of the more niche rarity stuff and that's honestly fine all right Gaia cards now for those of you that uh, might not be keeping track of some of this stuff Gaia the magical dragon knight actually just some of this stuff in general has been kind of doing some interesting things what was it a couple weeks ago we had a list in the OCG show up that was actually playing like a, a Gaia OTK. And I, I didn't expect things on our side of the market to even make a nod of a movement, but somebody was talking about, hey, you know, maybe you should maybe you should go check out some of this stuff. I see on 1014 one of these sold for 120. That's way more than it should have. Uh, Gamer's Choice has Italian copies, Portuguese very lightly played Italian here. You got a wide variety of these available to you um, on pickup. And then of course, Charging Gaia for Speed Duel, yeah, 13 bucks, okay. And then of course, the Legend of Blue Eyes Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Uh, I don't even wanna to touch that for $12. Uh, the World Wide Reprint is actually five. That's kind of disgusting. Retro Pack Swift Gaia, these are $11, what? 25th Anniversary Edition, also coming and coming on kind of interestingly high. Um, the Gaia cards, I don't really see anything back here that's really too crazy to know. I mean, like, the Speed Duel version um, is kind of up there. Actually, this is interesting. Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin? This is $4. Okay, the Speed Duel Millennium version? Wow, actually, this is kind of crazy. This thing is actually $12 for the Speed Duel match of Millennia. Okay, well, it looks like we do have some Gaia support. Kind of going a little bit more rogue. Spiral Spear Strike is also $7. And Arisen Gaia the Fierce Knight is almost a dollar. What? Why are these cards... Why? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my hands with this. This, this is this is too deep. All right, this is a rabbit hole that I didn't expect to see today. So, good job, Gaia. All right, well, uh, how how are we doing back here on the uh, DSP Little Knight situation? You know what's hilarious about this? I feel like nothing has changed on this besides the prices continuously rolling down. I see that 480, 415, and a 510 have sold. Um, yeah. Nothing anywhere near the $600 range moved, which means we're seeing retrace value on this. But the problem is, is, is more and more people are seeing this card do the spinsies, upsies, downsies, daisies, spinsy roundsies. Um, 526, 530. Um, interesting. Uh, this is within the realm of expectations, I feel like, for this. Dia Bell Star Witches, nice 170 bucks. These have fallen. And of course, Wantits have actually held. I'm actually very surprised about this. And, of course, the Doomsday Star. I cannot wait for the day that people decide that this is the next buyout target and they come after this. I feel like this is just a matter of time. Card looks absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Um, by far one of the best ones. But I see that we are already gaining some value back here. Ugh. Doomsday. It's going to be a terrible day when it happens. <laughs> and, of course, the SP Little Knights the biggest controversial thing in the community right now. Cardboard should not be over X price. 
Nice Japanese sea career. Yeah, they're still floating at 101. Keep in mind that there is a YCS this weekend. We will see yet again how this card kind of trends through the weekend. And if it does, you know, hold some sort of price point similarity to what we've been seeing. Arias is down to 90. I'm also kind of curious to know how this is going to go. Mcedes holding at about 100. Uh, the Magician of Bonds is down to $69. Yikes. Also, boxes of this uh, holding at the uh, seventy dollar point, which is very good. Vice of Samsara, nice sixty one to sixty five. Um, I know that his counterpart was getting bought out earlier in the week, which is hilarious. The sarcophagus at sixty. Uh, Triscuda here at fifty four. Geo Long at fifty nine. Okay, I, these see these are still holding at forties. Uh, it's so impressive to me. Wow, Dumble Devs are down to $33. You know, this is one of those quarter centuries that you look at and you're like, I kind of just want to pick this up just to have it because it looks that cool. Um, and then, of course, Starkhold Dragon at 29 Okay, I suppose, Market, you have a clear idea what you want to do. Diabella Star is coming at 27s. Uh, Arc Rays, actually. This at 20 bucks is almost worth it at this point. Like, just to have the one of, because the card looks beautiful, uh, might be worth it to pull the trigger. When you're starting to see these, like, honestly, when you're starting to see these quarter centuries hit the $20 mark, like, yeah, we have worse quarter centuries in this set than we did in the previous sets, but honestly, the worse that these get, the more you want to pick them up. Doomsday Star coming in at a nice $19. Over Limit Hut, 16 You're Tainted of the Tistina at 18 bucks. Of course, we also have the famous Glaive Blaster being $16. I, I, I don't get this. This is hilarious. Of course, Dumble Death from Sneak Peek is down to 8 Vice of Samsaras have crashed back down to $13. You know, the fact that these were as crazily high as they actually were was kind of insane. Arias down to the $14 mark. King Sarcophagus hitting the $6 mark. And then Seeker Dumble Death's coming in at 3 bucks. Ugh. You know, I, I love the fact that this set has so much more to hold it up in the form of a $100 secret rare, but you still have so many bad cards in this set that it, it actually is kind of breathtaking just to kind of see. And then, of course, how are Pot of Prosperities doing? How the mighty have fallen here. We're down to 373 d 7 This card's still gorgeous. Wow. Down, down, down they go, but I miss having those. Uh, the rarity collection, man. Look, look at these listings, by the way. This is this is going to be a ride to deal with here. I can't wait. Secret Pot of Prosperity is down to the thirty-three dollar mark. Once again, I mean, people are fire selling. Even though we had forty, forty-three, and thirty here, and you're down to twenty-six dollars now. Like that's actually insane for how much value has been lost in these. And of course, I mean, the tin versions are down to sub twenty dollars. 23, 20, 18, and 16. Yeah. Good news, everybody. If you wanted some cheaper Pot of Prosperities, waiting for Rarity Collection was the right move. It amazes me that it took this long for this to blow out, though, because everybody knew the card was going to be in the set. We were following the same pattern as the OCG. So, okay. Oh, Light Sword High Rarity Cards. Hey, look, Luminas are down to 290 right now for Champion Packs. I don't know how many people have been paying attention to this, but this is very interesting. Obviously, none have sold, but okay. I didn't think that I would see the day for that. Lyle Ultimate Rares, nice $48 still for these. High Rarity Light Sword anything looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, first Edition is a nice 74 75 down here for a Spanish version. Um, but considering the fact how old these cards actually are at this point in time, Aaron's are actually, whoa, these actually get bought out. First edition Aaron's, $55. No way. Wow. They actually hit the $90 mark. My friend used to collect these as an absolute meme as a favorite card. And he was like, it'll never go up in price. Finally, they're $90. Wow. Gareth's are actually like $38 to $39 too. What? That's actually disgusting. $35, $36, yeah. Cool, even Gareth's have gone up. Max Rarity Lightsworn is... I, I thought this used to be like a joke. Obviously, Ryko's $23 you're seeing there in 10s. That's mainly because you could thank Edison Format for that because people are getting the chance to play Lightsworn out here in some of these older formats. And, of course, Ultra Lilas are also going up. So uh, you shouldn't be surprised to be seeing the crazy insanity of this. 
Minerva is also kind of hitting the 550 mark. Yeah, even Arcus is now four to five dollars for the Ultra version. So, as everything that's happening in today's market, it is an absolute crapshoot as per usual. Um, but to see that high rarity light soaring cards are on this crazy uptick is definitely something interesting to be seen. So, what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later today, guys. Peace out, patrons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.